Hi, I'm Ronald from GitLab. Welcome to this quick video on Git Basics. I'll assume you have it freshly installed. So let's start to configurations. I recommend using dash dash global to make sure for every project it's the same. We start with user dot name and then my name and then git config dash dash global user dot email. And it will be with GitLab. So now we have done that. Let's start with creating a project. So we'll call it demo project. TD into it. And in order to tell Git that this is a Git project, where Git has to keep track of it, we do Git in it. Git will tell you the project is empty. So let's change that by touching the button. Its status will show what's going on. In this case, we have one untracked file, which tells you that Git is aware of the file and doesn't keep track of any changes. So let's add it. Git add. You can do readme or you can do point. When you do a point, it will add all files, all subtract. So let's start with just the name. That is, you can see it's one new file. Let's commit dash m for a new measure that you want to provide. I do initial commit. Its status just for like measures. As you can see, it looks all good. And git log will tell us we have our commit. Now this is all done locally. My machine, nowhere else. I like to add it to a different project or a different location. We can do that to git, say git remote add. We'll have to give it a name and then common uh, git perspective origin is the name that's default used, but you can change to whatever you Copy the URL of the project that I created on GitLab. Now, if we do git dash f, it will show us the name, origin, and then a project will fetch and push, which means that you can change it, or if you add the later one, you'll have more. So, let's do git push. I will see a nice error. We're working on the master branch, and it doesn't exist at what is called upstream or in origin in this case. So we'll give, we'll give you a command, or we'll type it ourselves, git push origin, and how we want to call it, well, the master, we prefer the same. So as you can see, git is done pushing. We hit refresh. And there we have our readme. Now we're going to do two things. I'm going to edit this file real quick. Add some content. Hit commit. So we're going to use git pull to get the latest changes. You can see there's a message coming. There's no tracking information on the current branch. So we have to specify this. Or in this case, we can use this, but we won't. Okay, pull. We're pulling it from origin the master branch. And you can see there's a change. If we get the readme. Lines. Now we're going to remove this directory. We're going to use git clone to edit it again. So let's say I'm a new developer, we've been working on a nice project, 
we're going to go through all the steps that I did before. We're just going to use git clone. And same as before. Oops, this link. Git clone. Now, git clone does a few things. It will create the directory, which is the same name as the dev or the project itself, in this case, demo. So let's dive into it. You see our readme. If you look at status, it's changed. But a few things have changed. So let's add a license file. Get status. We're familiar with this. This time I'll use a point. I will commit this one. Add license. So now if we do get status, it will tell you that your local branch is ahead of origin and master, no one commit. And this has to use git push. So before we had to do git push or to master, but now there's a reference saying if you do git push on the master branch, it will push it to origin and master. So let's hit it. And there we go. Let's make a few changes to this file as well. Last time we had to do git pull or do last. The same with git push. That link has already been made. And it's all done. Get status will tell us it's up to date. Now, one more thing Git clone on large projects can be really intensive, it can take a long time. In this case, we'll use GitLab as an example. So, by pressing dash dash depth one, and the location. There we go. Dive into it. And if you get lock, it will tell you this is the most recent one. It must commit that's been done. Obviously, in GitLab, there are a lot more. So let's say we decide we need all. We can do git fetch dash dash on shadow. And this will take some time. So we'll wait for it, and once it's done, I'll come back to you. And it's done. It took almost two minutes. If we do a git log, you'll see we'll have to rest up all of the information available. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching.